I hooked up with Epiphone around 2007, um, right after I joined Tesla, and I just kind of stayed in touch and, and always had a really great relationship. I, I had this old Tom Petty shirt that, that I got at one of his shows, and it had a logo of a V going through a heart, like a Cupid thing, and the, the V was all white, and it was on a red heart. I was like, oh man, that looks awesome, and kind of like insomnia on tour, middle of the night, like emailed um, my, my contact at Epiphone said, hey, could you guys make a whole white red guitar like this? Maybe? I don't know. And uh, never really heard anything back. I thought, ah, oh, it was crazy. Cock of maybe scheme, nothing will ever happen. And then like a month later, maybe two months later, we played Nashville and they showed up the gig like, hey, here's your guitar. Whoa, awesome. Probably the biggest V people. Um, is Metallica is, is a huge influence on me. Like they're one of my favorite bands ever. Um, it's just one of those things you see, like that Karina V, that classic V that you see in just pictures. Of, it's like, oh man, that's so cool. What, what's always sort of drawn me to the V shape is um, one, the ability to, to get up to those upper frets. The V is, is, I mean, there's no physical obstacles there. You can do whatever you want. So I, I've, I've always really loved that. Um, uh, and, and just the shape, it just looks so damn cool. There's, you can't beat it. To me, the, the sort of secret ingredient of this guitar is the, the white fretboard in terms of the aesthetics, because it really makes it like pop, you know? It, it looks so different than a regular V, and all it is is that, you know, it's got this, um, the hard maple with the white finish um, on the fretboard, and it instantly like makes it stand out from, you know, the other Vs. It's got the traditional Pro Bucker 3 in the bridge, Pro Bucker 2, in the, in the neck, uh, white speed knobs, white little uh, toggle switch cover, everything's trying, you know, stick into the color scheme. Jumbo frets, Grover tuners, the Rotomatics, which, uh, man, this guitar stays in tune. It's got the uh, stop bar tail piece, the tunematic bridge. The neck has a C-shaped profile. It's not too thick, not baseball bat territory, but it's not shred or thin, like there's something to hang on to. Up here we got the Graph Tech nut. And it's got this red perloid uh, pit guard and the little jack cover here. And I love the way it, it contrasts with the flat, solid white. And uh, the final touch here is the Epiphone logo right there. This is the guitar I play. Like, it's identical. It's the same neck. It's the same um, frets. It's, everything is the same. The pickups, it's, it's all there. Um, we just kind of tweaked a little bit of the aesthetics. Um, to sort of enhance the, the white red theme, but other than that, this is exactly what I've been playing for the last few years um, on the road with Tesla. It's it's really just beyond an honor to have a, a signature episode because you know I've played these guitars for my whole life. To me, um, the aesthetics of, of the presentation um, of a guitar and and especially if you're playing it live, that all really adds up to make something a little bit more memorable for, for the audience too. When, when something visually is so striking and, and different than, than anyone else is playing.